Okay, here we go, starting this really awesome project. I'm so excited. Cold War reversed, what if build, turning the MiG-23 into a US Navy carrier interceptor. Yeah, let's go. Um, so for this, I'm gonna have to go completely out of order because there are lots of things I need to set up and figure out and work on before we actually start building. So like I need to figure out if there's things I need to order, if there's things I need to modify. You know, I'm gonna be jumping all over the place with this build. Um, so I, I, one of the things I need to do is, um, number one, engine. I wanna make sure that I can use the F-14 nozzle in this, um, in this kit, in this build. I need to do as much as I can to incorporate parts of the actual F-14 into this. Oh, according to the rules, I can use Ooh, I can use up to 30% um, of aftermarket or other kit, whatever it may be, into the 70% of the kit I'm working on. So I'm going to use that 30% to add elements of the F-14 into this MiG-23 to make sure that there are throwbacks to the F-14 in it to show some American workmanship uh, going in. So I'm going to, um, you know, like I said, jump around and knock out some of these little bits as I, as I can and as I go to help me determine if I need to get anything else, if I need to order anything extra, um, or if I've got everything that I need right here, you know, with what I have on hand. So we're gonna start by seeing if we can get this old F-14A nozzle to fit somewhere onto this engine. And that shouldn't really be too hard, and it shouldn't take away very much from the actual working of the kit. All right now, I'm really just doing some dry fitting to see where everything lines up is all. Now where exactly this goes, there are some landmarks there that I don't see actually landmarking into anything. I need to know where the actual nozzle for this aircraft is, like what it, there we go. So we have an option, tail spout one, tail spout two, and here are tail spouts. So it actually looks like this would fit nicely right onto tail spout two, which I think represents closed turkey feathers for the MiG-23's engines. That is almost perfect. Almost perfect right there. So what I'm going to do, now that I know how this fits, I'm basically going to um, fill all of this with putty and smooth it out and attach the uh, F-14 engine right to it. The nozzle, rather, not the engine. And that's one thing that, you know, I can take care of pretty easily, and then I'll sand it all around. So I'm gonna build up this engine and have it kind of done as a subassembly. For our music today, I'm really excited debuting this awesome piece written by my younger brother, Matt. His information is in the video description, but he's an amazing artist, amazing musician. This was written, performed, and mixed everything by him exclusively for my channel. So, awesome. Thanks, little baby brother. Hope you guys enjoy.
actually pretty similar to how the real tail hook on the F-14 is mounted. make it easy, the cockpit is really just out of the box, but we're substituting American cockpit colors and finishing for the old Soviet colors. So it'll look just like an American cockpit without having to switch up decals, instrument panels, and things like that. One more time, huge thank you to my younger brother, Matt. Um, 
Matt Pinto for writing that music for me just to use uh, in these videos. He is such an amazing musician. Uh, I'm really jealous. Uh, he's been playing and teaching himself uh, since he was, you know, about 12 years old and also has an actual music degree from um, the Berkeley School of Music. So, really cool. Uh, and again, you can check out all of his info, Instagram, all sorts of stuff in the video description. But now let's get back to this. Besides the dog tooth element, the MiG-23's wings and the F-14's wings share a really similar shape. The MiG-23's wings are a little bit smaller, but they actually sit at about the same angle of sweep when both uh, unswept and fully swept. So they're going to be a really good match for this project when they're done.
using the AK Extreme on the internals here because number one, it's a really good color, but number two, it goes on really well without a primer. And since we're not gonna see it a whole lot and I wanna keep it really thin in here, it, it'll do really nicely. But I think that in terms of, of just sheer color, um, you get a really, really good finish with the Alclads, but that's why I use the different uh, paint there. that whole process uh, I was thinking about painting actually the entire wing while it was out but I you know we've got enough of the wing now that we can work on everything else while it's in I'm just gonna have to move it around but it won't scrape so I just I wanted to get those aluminum only panels done and you can see it has a little bit of a worn look to it all mechanics work we've got our variable geometry for our variable geometry wings with they're a little bit bright. They're going to get toned down. They're going to get kind of a, a matte finish on there uh, while everything else gets a semi-gloss because, or maybe they'll get semi-gloss. I don't know. I haven't decided, but that's way too bright and shiny um, for a, uh, a piece of aluminum that's been in use in service, but I need the gloss on there for the weathering. You know, I need the acrylic surface for enamel weathering and everything. Fuselage assembly fit is really really good just a little bit of sanding needed a little bit of filling needed um, to finish that up here but overall pretty good kit you know coming along nicely we've got our intakes that need mounting and they're looking good honestly i think no i think that's upside down i think this one goes here maybe um and these might have been better to mount first before uh putting the wings on there we go nope i got it upside down <laughs> okay so but we'll have intakes going on here uh, next step um and yeah i'm gonna have to wedge them in should have done them before wings but oh well it is what it is now um we'll get those fitted and sanded down very nicely um, got it some just a little bit more fuselage work to do I took some toothpicks and the, these are like really thin fragile static dischargers on the wingtips so I wanted to make sure they didn't break but it's looking good so other pieces I have ordered I realized it would look really cool and make the decals really effective if I put an actual f14 vertical stabilizer on this thing I'm not sure how that's going to change the overall look of the plane but I, uh, I ordered one more set of parts um, for an actual, I think it's a, either Hasegawa or Tamiya a 14A. I, I can't remember specifically, but they're parts for an F14A, and they'll be here soon. And markings, I was able through a Facebook um, decal, you know, find, swap, sell page to finally get my hands on the VF111 decals that I've been dying for, looking for. I'm so happy. So we've got so many options, but of course we're going with the full color sundowners um, on the, the tail and everything. Um, so the the missing section here is included originally 
the guy wanted to sell me like one set of markings, but then he's like, hey, it's a pain in the ass. Do you just want to buy the whole thing? And I was like, yeah. And I actually got a great deal on this whole set. So I might do the, the old Miss Molly. Uh, there's a good story behind that. Uh, this squadron is flying off the USS Carl Vinson and Miss Molly, the actual caretaker and nurse for Carl Vinson, the uh, Senator Carl Vinson, who um, or Congressman, I can't remember, but he, who the ship was named after um, in tribute of her, which is why it's a cool nose art nurse. Uh, I don't know, you know, how those markings will look with the nose art and everything, but I mean, we got so many options to do. And this is why, because of the shape of these markings, that's why I want to experiment with putting the actual F-14 vert on there. Um, it might look really weird with just one. I already kind of toyed with with the idea of twin stabilizers on there, but I think that's just going to look too, they're going to be too close together. So we'll do the one. But anyway, all right, so here's where we're at. Okay, so we'll call this a good point to break in this video. When we pick up next time, we'll finish off the internal work on the cockpit. Uh, I got a quick boost resin uh, actual F-14 ejection seat we've got to somehow fit in here. We'll do a little bit more detailing on this uh, engine nozzle that we've created um, to detail it up and stick it on there. Um, then we've got the rest of the fuselage to uh, figure out. And then we get to figure out, you know, we get build some weapons and, and how we're going to arrange those. So what I really love about this build here is not just the what was it going to look like figuring out how we're going to fit all these f14 um like throws to the f14 on this mig 23 airframe but it's it's a lot of fun so far so i hope you guys are enjoying it um, i hope you will enjoy seeing the rest of it in the future and join me soon and we will finish this up so if you're building your own stuff out there keep building them build them well and i'll see you next time